Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your March 2022 general readings. We are looking at the first two weeks of March and this reading is for the earth sign of Virgo. Welcome everyone. Hope you're all doing well. As always, thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here, watching these videos, liking, sharing, subscribing, your support, donations, feedback, comments, those of you who reach out for personal readings. Always a note of gratitude. It's greatly appreciated and many blessings back to you. Okay, Virgo, <clears throat> this reading is for you for the first two weeks of March 2022. That's if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in Virgo. It's also relevant if you're cross-watching for a Virgo. It's a general reading, so of course it's going to resonate a little differently for everyone. So watch all of your signs for any additional insight and perspective they may provide. <clears throat> and if you find something does resonate with you and you'd like to take a deeper look at something, uh, reach out for a personal reading. You can email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to hear from you. <clears throat> I can usually respond within the same day with more information. I do offer a wide variety of readings. You can also see that contact info by clicking the description link below, that little arrow. Okay, Virgo, let's see what the first half of March looks like for you. I am using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with Legacy of the Divine Tarot. <clears throat> okay, Virgo, we begin <laughs> with an offer. Knights represent offers, opportunities for change, sometimes the speed at which a situation moves. Knights are the manifestors. They take the information and knowledge they learned as a page and they kind of go charging out into the world to actually manifest something. The Knight of Cups is the Knight of Water, which is the element which governs the suit of cups, which governs our emotional life. So this is an offer or an opportunity for change driven by love, support, encouragement. But for some of you, it might be a little more lighthearted, like a date, asking somebody out on a date or somebody asking you out. With the King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, showing up as a king, but this is a general reading, so it could be a female as well. There's an offer coming from the King of Wands, a love offer, a date. It doesn't have to be romantically inclined. This can just be a, an offer that's driven by love and caring and support and encouragement by this King of Wands, which uh, which could just be somebody who cares. It doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. Next, we have the Six of Wands, victory, triumph, success, after a challenge, after a battle. This is also a card of being recognized for your achievements, your uniqueness. It can represent being elevated in some way, promotion, bonuses, awards, being seen, being in the public eye. With faith, it's called faith in this deck and other decks it would be referred to as the Hierophant, which is a more institutional energy. But in this deck, it literally has a more spiritual reference to having faith in something, which is a trust in something as of yet unseen, something you may just feel. Uh, and quite simplistically, this combination of the Six of Wands and faith means that your faith has been justified. Your faith has been justified by victory. Or with some kind of victory. The offer might be the victory itself. <clears throat> Next we have the Empress, the traditional Earth Mother of the Tarot. She represents fertility, whether it's literal fertility or not, it could be conception, pregnancy. It can represent mothers or mother figures. Fundamentally, this is about giving birth, giving birth to something new, abundance, the abundance of creation. So this is all about new beginnings, new starts, or that the season is right to start something new, which will prove to be abundant. With <laughs> justice. Justice is right next to faith because I keep getting that your faith has been justified justice, reaping what you sow. The outcome of something is dependent on what you put into it, right? Minimal effort, minimal return, moderate effort, moderate return, maximum effort, maximum return. This is also, of course, about truth and honesty and moral and ethical foundations and doing the right thing. <clears throat> from the bottom of the deck, the overall energy and focus for the first two weeks of March is you. Could also be another Earth sign. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. The Queen of Abundance. 
right along here with the Empress. Beautiful energy. I'm going to pull one more since it's a court card. With temperance, healing, balance, restored, being grounded, staying in the middle. Neither too much of one thing nor too much of the other. But temperance is about bringing opposite extremes. I mean, when you think about the culinary world, to temper something means to bring something hot and cold together. You can't do it all at once. You have to do it slowly so it reaches a harmonious mixture. So this is about balance, but it's also about healing and bringing things together that previously were at odds. Again, I'm getting this statement, your faith is justified. It feels, and this is a beautiful reading, actually. It feels as if something which has been out of balance is coming back into balance. Something is being restored or renewed for you, Virgo. Perhaps because you've, you've earned it by working for it, or you've earned it by having faith in what you were doing, or simply because spirit sees it as the right thing to do or the right thing, balance being restored, which is pretty much always what spirit's going to be. Spirit always seeks to bring balance to that which is out of balance or broken, healing to that which is broken, and that's what I'm getting here. Could be that... Some of you had faith it would work out, faith if you kept doing the right thing and tried to be the best person that you could be. Something's being restored here. Let's clarify the overall energy of temperance. The Knight of Swords. Information, a conversation taking place. Temperance again. So this is about hearing and perhaps having a conversation about whatever this is about. Whatever area of your life, Virgo, it's not clear to me what it is. The offer could be anything. It might be love because it's the Knight of Cups. But, I mean, it could be in work, career, finance. It could be in your home. It could be anything, really. Some area of your life, some situation which is was out of balance is being, brack, being brought back into balance in a pretty big way. And someone's faith here, again, is being justified what was wrong or broken or out of whack before is being righted could it could be like a specific wrong that's being righted could be anything really but regardless of what specifically this is which of course is going to vary in a general reading it's being restored something's being restored here knight of cups The Ten of Cups, Happy Home. Tens represent cycle endings or coming full circle. So the Ten of Cups, the Happy Home, White Picket Fence card represents everything finally coming together in a way that makes you feel like you, you really couldn't want for much more. I mean, this is, this is happiness, harmony, home, love, marriage, childbirth. This is everything good to do with the home coming together and in fruition. It's like it's almost like it's harvest time here. But this is clarifying the Knight of Cups, what so might be an offer, a marriage offer, a love offer. Could be an offer about um, a home property itself, you know. And it's coming all from this King of Wands. Now, again, it could be love and romance driven, or it could be like love, support, encouragement of a different type. Clarify the King of Wands justice so we have justice twice temperance twice and justice twice and that really underscores virgo the feeling that i have of something being made right and something being made whole again justice clarifying the king of wands is this king of wands literally doing the right thing doing the thing that is right and just and fair and ethical and honorable again one can read this as a marriage proposal as in the romance department but again it could be something else let's keep clarifying it could be that this king of wands or whoever this king of wands represents is coming in to help you help you with something that benefits your home in a positive way in a big healing way because it's the right thing to do whether or not it's romantic or not 
<laughs> clarify the six of wands justice victory And it could be because we have justice twice. This might be a legal situation for some of you, which had a really negative effect on your home and family before that, whatever your home and family situation is. And it's being righted here um, from, from legal decisions. Clarify a victory in the Six of Wands. <clears throat> the star, renewed and restored hope, faith, and optimism. And in the tarot, the star comes after the tower. So it does imply there was something really difficult or painful that happened before the Knight of Cups. This offer, this just, right, honorable, ethical offer, renews and restores hope, faith, and optimism. It justifies faith. This is probably one of the most beautiful readings I've seen in a long time. Clarify faith. I mean, the original cards are being clarified by the same cards in a different from a different deck, which is why I typically use a different deck to clarify to see if there are repeating cards because it underscores the message or po points our attention in the area that it needs to be. Clarify faith. This <laughs> faith is already clarifying the six of wands, which is victory. Faith again is being clarified by the six of wands, which is victory. This is crazy. We have temperance twice, justice twice, the knight of cups twice, the six of wands twice. Let's clarify the empress. I wonder if the empress will come out again. Clarify the empress. Abundance, pregnancy, giving birth to something new. <clears throat> the wheel of fortune, divine timing and orchestration. So God's fingerprints are all over this. It's like being handed to you or presented on a silver platter. Clarify justice, which is clarifying the empress. What's justice about here with the empress? The chariot, success, success on a very difficult, challenging path. Success because somebody didn't give up. This is success that comes from sheer determination, perseverance, willpower, the refusal to give up. Even if you get run over nine times, it's that tenth time you get up that you win. <laughs> the empress, again... Virgo, this is such a beautiful reading, and it makes me happy just looking at this. this I, again, I feel like this is the most beautiful reading I've seen in a long time. You have, and I'm not actually really sure what the specific subject is. Often that comes out pretty clearly in readings. Sometimes it doesn't, especially in general readings, but everything is being cl clarified by itself. I mean, <clears throat> you've got... <laughs> You've got temperance, balance, healing, twice. You've got the Knight of Cups, an offer driven by love, support, encouragement, twice. You have <clears throat> Six of Wands, victory and triumph, twice. You've got, you've got justice, twice. You've got the Empress, twice, along with other beautiful cards like the Ten of Cups, the Star, the Wheel of Fortune, Faith. I mean, this is an absolutely beautiful, sweet, loving reading. <clears throat> so whatever it is, whatever area of your life this is about, although what I can see is that it has a tremendously positive effect on that Ten of Cups, whatever your home and family life is, <clears throat> probably in a situation where something had happened prior to this that was very difficult, challenging, painful, or even catastrophic for some of you. It's a general reading, so the importance and intensity is going to vary. But something was not right before. Some area of your life was not right. Something was broken. Something was unjust. Something uh, was not right. And there is healing, being made whole, and something which was wrong being righted might even be a legal situation for some of you. So I'm not sure what else to say about this. I'm going to just 
see if there's any final messages. I'd kind of like to just leave this here, but I'll pull a, a card or two and see. Any final messages, advice, final messages for Virgo from Spirit? The three of coins, working together with another person or a small group of people. This is about collaboration, working with other people, compromise, negotiation to create abundance. Nine of cups, wish fulfillment, getting what you want. Here you are again, the queen of cups. Sorry, the queen of pentacles, which also we have twice. Let me see what else is there. The king of wands again and the sun. I swear you have every positive card in here. So there's an offer here. And if this is something you have to say yes or no to, I'm not going to tell you what to do. But if I had a vote, I'd vote yes. This is what you need. This is what your home family life needs. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. <laughs> Those are your messages. You know, if this was a personal reading, I'd probably want to spend a lot more time on unpacking this, but it's not. So it could be, you know, could be a variety of different stories here. All right, Virgo. Those are your messages for the first two weeks of March. I hope you enjoyed them. They were beautiful messages. Uh, again, if any of this resonates with you, by all means, please reach out and let me know. And if you want to take a deeper look at something, uh, you can reach out for a personal reading. Email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I'd be most happy to hear from you. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the March mid-month readings. Stay well until then. Hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.